And here it is. Welcome back to the channel. The sun. Uh, I can't believe how many ladybugs are flying around. I just think they've gone crazy. And these stink bugs or whatever they're called. I don't know if you can see that. Flies. But the ladybugs. going crazy. Stink bugs, wasps, you can see it up there, they're all stuck to the side of my house, stuck to the side of the shed. It's wild. You catch it in the light and uh, you can see them everywhere. This is where they're gonna get stuck in all the nooks and crannies and in the window sills. But Aiden let me know the other day that he found a wasp nest. So I've just come to take a look at it, and boy, oh boy, look at that. I think it's dead actually because there's ladybugs all in it. I don't see any wasps near it at all. That is huge. So, I'm just gonna get a ladder, garbage bag, and we'll scoop it up and uh, see what happens. The rooster saying hello. So it's one of the nicer days this week. Camera's all dirty. been uh, raining for like a week and the high of like 12 degrees I'll put that in Fahrenheit below so I'm gonna try to cut the grass and do a bit of the outside work that needs to be done before fall kicks in I just can't get over all the ladybugs They're everywhere Wild, 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 wild. All right, here we go. Well, I'm gonna try something a bit more stupid, I guess. I'm just gonna spray this. It's in the heat of the day. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. Oh. Well, seems kind of dead. Should I just spray it? And then I'm gonna run. I kinda wanna keep it so that I can open it up and see what's inside. I'll link to my other video that I did that because it was under the step when I did it. Can you guys see me? So I'll uh, link to that in the description below. <clears throat> but I think we're just gonna spray it and then we'll see what happens. I lost the sp the spigot. I don't see anything. I think it was dead. All right, let's knock it down. This is uh, the Canadian's uh, version of a wasp killer. Hey, there's my stick. Okay, so uh, we're knock this down. Oof, I'm nervous. All right, here goes. Nothing in it. Just ladybugs. Mm. 
Maybe I should have left it there then to keep the other wasps from making a nest in it. empty. Incredible. I wonder what would make them abandon it. Uh, it's the biggest one I've ever seen. So, there you go. Glad that was uh, less eventful. No wasps. No one was harmed in the making of this video. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe. What did you do on your land today? The other thing that I have an update on is, I don't know if you remember, but I had broken, we had broken, my vise. So this was a three and a half inch Sears brand. I don't know if you can see that. Sears brand vise that we had broke. We had put too much force on it. We had broken it off. We'd used a cheater bar to try to get a bit more oomph out of it on this little rickety vise. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of this one. I've already unscrewed it from the table. And we'll just move it over a bit so you can still see it. And I'll bring in the new one. And here it is. Look at that. Look at the size of it. Old one. New one. This is a... Uh, a record made in England, number six. It doesn't have the little anvil thing on the back, but it is gigantic. Look at that compared to that one. So last weekend when I was at my family member's uh, area, we were able to make a deal and I picked up this one. So thanks very much for that, Peter. And it has a bit of slop in it. it takes about three rotations before it goes. So I'm gonna take it apart uh, and see what's going on on the underside. Just needs a bit of a cleanup, but you can see that as soon as it grabs here, it goes together very nicely. So we're just going to flip it over and take a look inside. Weighs a ton. So I think this is the issue in here. Um, it looks like there's a spring that seats and there's a, some kind of pin clip that is all over the place. So I'm pretty sure that this is the spring that's supposed to take up that slack. So we're gonna take it apart in another video, that won't be today's video, this is just a, a quick look at it. And then I'll take it apart and uh, walk you through that cleanup process when we get there. But if any of you know anything about this Made in England record number six, anything about them, uh, let me know in the comments and thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. The other thing that I have an update on is, if you'll remember, I had... Did I show it off?